Our farm family has been here for over 70 years. I am the third generation. We've all had different interests in agriculture and we've been able to pursue those different interests. So my dad saw an opportunity to do something creative. He saw firsthand with my mom's business with a farm market and garden center that each year she would till up her garden soil and there were peat pots left everywhere. So this so-called biodegradable pot wasn't really breaking down at the end of the growing season. And so he literally started in one bay of our farm shop just experimenting with the concept of being able to use those manure fibers to make a pot. We have cows on this farm to produce milk because we are a dairy farm, but we saw that there was this inherent value in the manure that they gave us. We started cow pots in 1997 the cow actually produces the feedstock and then she produces the energy to go ahead and make the product. When the kids were going through high school and Matthew's telling them that we hit our house with cow farts, for the kids it was embarrassing, but for us it's a sense of pride. We have one of the longest continuously running digesters in the country. We're capturing a biogas and we're burning that in lieu of heating oil or propane. And that's how we heat our house and our hot water. Right here on this little dairy farm in the northwest corner of Connecticut, we are not only producing a sustainable food source, which is really high in protein, milk, but we're actually generating renewable energy in the process. So we're harvesting that solar power off of our barn roof and we're capturing the methane from our cow's manure and we're using that. And so that methane digester is also digesting these manure solids, preparing them for the next step in the process to then eventually turn into a cow pot. We make products that will benefit the consumers, but they're also benefiting the farmers and they're reducing plastics. We have the capacity to prototype and customize for different growers, gardeners, and even people outside of the growing industries. Bait cups and golf tees and skeets for shooting practice and biodegradable urns. And I mean, if you can imagine something that you think would be better as a biodegradable option, we have a viable alternative to not just consume a product and then throw it away, but to consume a product and then for it to have another benefit, another use. Plastic is always perfect looking because you can't break it and it doesn't break down, but it's not perfect when it's piled up in a heap in the back of your greenhouse. As soon as you take it out of a plastic pot and you put it into the ground, it wilts. But when you're taking a cow pot and you can see that the roots are coming straight through the side, there's no hesitation. Those roots are just gonna to continue to grow. And so we do exclusively all our zucchinis, all our summer squashes, all go into cow pots. So we're actually gonna pull a pot from the field because we can show you what the pot is doing and how beautiful the plants are. You can just see little pieces of the pot are still attached, but it's definitely basically broken down. So in less than three months, the cow pot is completely degraded. No smell. Oh, absolutely. It's, you know, and it's funny. It's like, there is a smell, but it's a compost smell. Kind of loamy, soily. It is absolutely critical to our long-term viability to have alternatives to single-use plastic. And the reality is that's what's being used in the growing industry today is a lot of single-use plastic. And we are here in the Northwest Corner of Connecticut showing off the fact that we have an option. When you put this pot in the ground, you're adding value to the soil.